conveyor arm controls. All conveyor arm controls will be using pressure from fan number two. Starting with the height control. The height control gives us the ability to move our conveyor in and out of our transport saddle. Pressure from fan number two will be activated for this feature through SV8. And moving off to our dual acting pilot operated check valve, which is in there for safety, so our conveyor doesn't come to the ground if a leak is in the system. Also, you'll notice that we have a relief valve in here, and this is for our downstroke of the cylinder when we go to put it away in our transport saddles. So if we follow our pressure from fan number two along over to our solenoid that's in SV8 for our height control, pressure from there will go to our dual acting pilot operated check valve. And then also in that circuit, you'll notice that we have our relief valve. That relief valve is set to 1000 PSI. And again, it's for when we're putting the conveyor away into the saddle, this will give us so that we don't overpressure it and bend the conveyor. Moving out from the main valve block, we have pressure leaving through an orifice out to our cylinders, and then simply the return back into the main valve block again. Inner arm control. Pressure from fan number two will be controlled into this circuit through the solenoid that's in SV6, then off to our pilot operated check valve that is in there so the conveyor arm won't creep and has to be operated by pressure. Following the hydraulics, fan number two pressure going through the main valve block to the solenoid that's in SV6, then to our pilot operated check valve. From there, leaving our main valve block out to our inner arm cylinder and then a return back into our main valve block. You'll notice that it is orificed at the main valve block and at the cylinder. The orifice is 1 32nd to limit the speed of the arm movement. Outer arm control. Fan two pressure is activated into this circuit using the solenoid in SV7. Then moving to our PO check valve, which is there to stop our cylinders from seeping while in use and also needs to be activated by pressure. Moving the main valve block, fan two pressure going to our solenoid in SV7, then through our pilot operated check valve and leaving our main valve block out to our outer arm cylinder and then back in to the main valve block. You'll notice that the system is orificed to 1 32nd at our main valve block and then also on our one stroke on our cylinder to slow down movement.